This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in South Richmond. More specifically, I am off the Hall Street Road corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, two bath brick rancher. This brick rancher has been renovated and we've got a number of neat features here I wanted to point out before we go inside. Got a nice carport there. We have a newer heat pump and our roof looks like it's fairly new as well. Some architectural shingles. Some is situated on four tenths of an acre. So we've got a nice big lot by city standards. And let's go on in and take a look. One of the things I love about this home is that when they did the renovation, they opened up the home. As you can see there in the middle, we typically would have a wall. This wall went all the way across. They opened this up and made one nice large living area. There is no carpet whatsoever in this home. It is all solid surface flooring. So if you're not a big fan of carpet, this home might be right for you. We have our one full bath right here. Uh, this is nice and convenient to the living area and the dining area as well as the kitchen. A uh, nice tile shower with a very, very good looking shower head there. Plenty of space there. And we don't see granite a lot in this price range. This home does have granite, black appliances and plenty of cabinet space as well. Insulated windows. This home is truly low maintenance. Our utility room is right here, conveniently located. You've got enough space for your washer and dryer right there, electric water heater. And then we have some storage over where the appliances would go. This is a nice little bonus room. Plenty of space here if you wanted to do a home office or a playroom or an artist studio. They've got space here, good natural light flows in to these large windows. You can access the carport or go into the backyard from here. One thing that I wanted to share with you here in the first week of December is with many things in life, timing is everything. Uh, real estate is absolutely no different. Uh, when we think about flowers for Valentine's Day, the, the same flowers that are overpriced on the 13th and 14th of February are dramatically slashed in price come the 15th of February. It's the same flower, it just simply has to do with supply and demand. This time of year, most people are thinking about fruitcake and spiked eggnog as opposed to real estate investing or purchasing their home. As a result, fewer showings occur. And when fewer showings occur, often times, sellers will get a little bit more motivated. If they truly are on some type of timeline to sell and the showings are getting fewer and fewer farther apart from each other, that may mean a little bit more motivation than if they are constantly getting showings and a lot of activity in the listing. So as a result, that means that it is a great time for a buyer to consider real estate when everyone else is preoccupied doing other things. I'm not saying that people necessarily drop their prices during the, this time of year, but what I am saying is they could be more motivated because it's all about getting the property sold. And the number one reaction to a property not selling is to simply lower the price to make it more attractive to the general public. The public, is what determines value. And of course, you're not gonna sell something if you're not getting anyone to look at it. So it all goes back to uh, planning your search, planning your buying or your selling for that matter uh, during a good time of the year for said activities. Uh, I work with uh, buyers this time of year and uh, it's really, a good time for us because not only has the market slowed a little bit uh, and it is transitioned from a seller's market to a little bit more of a balanced market, uh, all definitely works uh, on behalf of the purchaser. Uh, one other thing about this home in particular is the sellers are offering a $5,000 credit towards closing costs. Uh, that is gonna wipe out the lion's share of the closing costs for the purchase of this home. Uh, it would not be unusual for me to get someone in this home for about $1,000 or less out of pocket. 
So as you've heard me say countless times before, it doesn't take a whole lot of money to buy a house. It takes working with someone that knows how to work the transaction, that knows how to go after that grant money for you, that knows how to get those concessions from the sellers, and most importantly, to make sure you're buying a good solid house that is not only gonna be a great safe place for you and your family, but also it's not gonna be a money pit. And I already covered how two of the high dollar systems on this house in particular have already been taken care of. That's the heating and air system and that roof. Other than that, we get a home warranty to protect you for some of the smaller items and you are in good shape. Max Williams, 402 778 can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.